we're going to go to F3 triggers and we're going to place down a trigger without a size and then we're going to edit the trigger we're going to set it to rectangle make the height 10 and we're going to set the size to 7 and 7 we're going to set the activation to any player present which would be the activation type and then we're going to set it to repeatable we're going to go down to activation on activation and I'm going to give you guys a code, a left curly bracket, and then if space left left curve bracket and underscore x space is kind of space quotes, this will be car space space again, right bracket space again, then space, and then we're going to go to left curly bracket underscore X space set fuel space one semicolon space underscore X space set vehicle armor space one semicolon space again and then we're gonna go underscore X space set vehicle ammo space one and then semicolon then we're gonna put a right curly bracket and then a semicolon and a right curly bracket again. And we're going to go space for each space this list and then semicolon. Now that's the code that will repair the vehicle and it'll work regardless. So when you enter the trigger with your vehicle, it'll repair, refuel, and rearm. You could see the changes in the vehicle if there's any significant damage or, you know, real low fuel that you could see. But for the sake of feedback, what we're going to do with this code is we're going to add a hint. So we're going to type hint and then quote. And in the quote, for this hint, you can put whatever you want. You can make it specific to whatever the vehicle or thing that it is that's going to enter the trigger. So it doesn't matter what you say, but in this case, since it's a, it's a car, then we're going to put this. So we're going to go, your vehicle has been rearmed, paired, and refueled. And then we're going to put a exclamation point and then close it with a quote and then a semicolon at the end. So with a hint, all you have to do is put hint and then you have to put quotes. So whatever you're going to say, it's going to be within quotes and then you're going to end it with a semicolon. And that's basically the code. And just hit OK and let's save that. I'm going to go down to Stratus and name this Instant Trigger. And then we're going to save that. Okay, now we're going to test this out and see how the trigger works. Alright, so we're going to take a look at our vehicle here. And as you can see at the top left, it's low on fuel. It's got significant damage. If we go to the gunner seat, it's down to 17 rounds, 13 rounds. So let's drive into the trigger. Alright, so we've been refueled, repaired, and if we go to the gunner seat, we have our ammo supply has been refueled. We also got the hint at the top right, which tells us that these things occurred. Because if the damage and the, the ammo and the fuel is very, really small, then you might not really notice the difference in the change. So that's why I put a hint. It gives you feedback.